Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Trine 5, a clockwork conspiracy. I... I'm so glad they're still making these games. There's just something really comfort foodish about them. And honestly, they're some of the best puzzle, like, physics-based puzzle platformers in existence. Our story began once again in the heart of our most beloved kingdom. Ruled by a council of fine ladies and gallant lords, with help and guidance from good and wise wizards. It was also home to the enchanted heroes of Trine, protectors of the realm. And while most people believed our kingdom to be the most pleasant and peaceful realm in all the world, some had plans to turn the kingdom upside down. <laughs> well? The Astral Academy is ours. Those dim-witted wizards didn't notice a thing before it was too late. And the device has been tested with success. I don't think the bigger size will pose a problem. Stone is stone. Well done. Now we can proceed to the next step in our plans. It is time to take care of the heroes of Trine. Dang, she was actually scratching her windows. In Why the meantime, she do that? the first of our heroes, Zoya the Thief, was not on a very virtuous quest. Zoya's intention was to steal an ancient treasure map from the town library. Rumor had it, her? the map revealed one of the few remaining hidden treasure troves left in the kingdom. The others having been looted by enterprising fortune hunters like Zoya herself. All right, like there's there, nothing necessary. beast. There's nothing wrong with scratching your window, but can you imagine being the evil villain that has to put now, in a work quiet order? Quiet as a mouse. It's a library after all. Uh, that has to put in like a work order. Okay. Nope. I don't know how to grapple hook yet, but you'd have to put in a work order to get your uh, to get your uh, your window replaced in your like evil uh, office effectively, and that would just be like the most embarrassing thing, you know, you brooding into the sunset as just like a bunch of regular uh, regular Joes are like taking out the window and. Uh, replacing it with a new pane. Like, I guess they could, she could just leave it there, but that would be awkward because the next time she broods, there's just going to be this awful, uh, just claw mark. And what if she does it again? Like, how many times is she going to do this? Because presumably, if you're an evil villain, you're going to be scratching that window, like, a lot. And so either she spends a fortune on fixing that window, or, uh... Hello? Talisman. Did you find a mouse? So, I'm not alone in the library. Uh, let's see. How do we... There we go. At some point, I should actually, like, play through the full series and do some kind of, like, review-y thing. I know, like I said, it's just kind of comfort food. And... It's one of those where I'd, like, gladly come back for more. Okay. We've got that there, but I can't hook on to... Ah, here we are. Just had to find the right physics object. The other thing I gotta say is, uh, from like a visual standpoint, these games have been ge getting prettier and prettier. Like, I legitimately thought the series visually peaked with, uh, Trine 2. And I've been very pleased to see that I'm completely incorrect. And that, like, they're integrating a lot more kind of cutscenes and the background Poor elements talisman. in. It's raining. More foreground. No rooftop adventures for you tonight. Like, there's, there's so much, uh, 
There's so much potential in 2.5D that most games never get right, and just side-scrolling in general. I always can knock down things. Oh, I see. Uh. Oh. But it can knock down more than just that. This poor librarian's gonna come back in and just be like, What absolute monster just... You know, filled everything with arrows. Also, my potion supply. Okay, we got a box. Oh, we've got a couple of things here. There we go. I might be a little odd so sounding today. I've got a... I think it's called pharyngitis. Uh, effectively a really gnarly sore throat. Oh. Hey! Uh, but yeah, so I've got a gnarly sore throat. And also a bit of a runny nose still. And the two are, uh, not good for me. Oh. Oh, that's a checkpoint. It's not loot. There we go. I think we have anything else. Oops, can be tied between rings. That's what it was. I... This character... <laughs> I don't want to say, like... She and the wizard are just massively better. Oops. Than the warrior is. Like, the warrior is good for combat. Uh, but she just... She just has maximum utility at all times. What can we do with this? Okay, that... Hmm... Okay, I think, I think what I need to do is have it, uh, destroy the rope, grab it when it's really close to me. There we go, odd as can be. Oh, nope. There we go. The library vault and the treasure map should be somewhere up here. Alright, what else do we have? Boy, this librarian is oh, fast. I should have asked for one of those new knights to guard the library at night. But they creep me out a little. The way they don't sleep or think or eat. And how would they know how to treat our books? New knights? Hmm. Oh, how do we get up to that? Oh. There we go. There we go. It's so clever. I, I realize it's a lot of fairly simple. Woo. I think it'd be probably better for me to just get on top of this thing. I'm dead. Uh, let's try that again. There we go. Yeah. Much better. Uh... I see. Drop down through. It, it's... I mean, it's fairly simple puzzle platforming flair. Or fair, to be honest. But there's just something like... It feels so ingenious having... Oops, the environment move around to this de this degree. Oh, descend from the ledge with just S. Ah, I'm failing the tutorial. I'm also maybe a little out of it. I haven't exactly gotten a whole lot of sleep because I snore just a little bit when I'm not feeling well. And um, boy, that really sucks when you have a sore throat because effectively I'm just constantly uh, waking myself up because I'll snore even just a little bit. Uh, Oh. Uh, I'll snore even just, like, the m most minuscule amount. And, uh, wake myself back up again because pain. Uh, so I've been getting sleep in about three hour segments. I'll, I'll pass the heck out as soon as I'm given the opportunity to. 
Uh, but like, being sick freaking sucks. We're just gonna alternate between me <laughs> showering this game with praise and uh, me complaining about being sick. I think it's because today's the first day where I can actually feel like I'm I'm capable of recording. Um, hmm. I'm clearly missing something with this door. Oh. I had missed that, that uh, they were linked together. I was just focused on down here. There we go. What a weird arcane library. Okay, and there's a third thing there. But why? Huh. Did I get them both? I did. Almost there. I want to go to this library. Honestly, I want to go to this city. It just seems so picturesque. I I think I had kind of the same vibes out of Hollow Knight. Uh, which is why I'm kind of drawn to both. Obviously, you don't spend as much time actually exploring uh -huh. this one. Because it's just a bunch of... Why are there bars on that window? You know, this one's just a, a linear kind of tour through a bunch of really pretty set pieces. Um, but it has this, like, really vivid sense of place that makes you want to go there and actually, like, go into the background and foreground. Uh, one of the complaints... One of the biggest complaints I have about most uh, 2D side-scrolling games is that there is no background that you want to explore. It's usually either just kind of a flat thing, or uh, it's usually either incredibly flat, just basic background, or like the barest of parallaxes. Whereas here, like, there's some freaking giant tower in the background. What's in there? I, I'm actually sure if I played one of the Trident games, I'd know. So this is the reason why the treasure hasn't been found yet. This map is practically dust. Or maybe it's just my effective security system. Put the map down, thief. As far as I know, no one alive can lay claim to that map or its treasure. Get me some paper and ink. Let me copy that thing and I'll be out of your hair in no time. And if I shoot you, thief? Hmm, that might hurt a teensy bit, but I'm enchanted with mystical powers of trine, so I can probably take it. Just give me a library card and I check it out for a day? Precious pretty things don't belong in dusty old museums. Aren't you supposed to be a hero? Is this what they do? Harass civil servants at ungodly hours? Well, I can be heroic, if the occasion arises. In fact, I've just received an invitation from the Astral Academy. I'm to be rewarded with a medal. Apparently the big statue of me and my fellows on the town square isn't enough. Well, why don't you jog off to the Academy then? Props to that librarian for standing her for ground. It was unusual for to be unsuccessful with her plans, but the librarian had managed to distract her. However, in the meantime, Pontius the Knight was busy at work. As a protector of the realm, he was always called to help on any and many strange occasions. This time, he'd been called to deal with a troublemaker at a calm and quiet little graveyard. I really love this little chapter selection, and that cat. I, every single aspect of this is so freaking stylish. According to the report, dark magics are afoot here. So, let's see what all the fuss is about. The biggest shame about Pontius is that he'd probably look really nice with just a beard. 
Make the man go full bear. You cowards. Sorry. <laughs> I just, um... I think ever since Full Metal Alchemist when I was a kid... There we go. That's how I butt stomp. I remember how to play this. Ever since Full Metal Alchemist, um... As a kid... Those mushrooms seem dangerous. Better watch out if I run into more of them. Uh, specifically the mentor's husband. That just absolute, uh, block of a man. Uh, with his, like, scruffy beard and whatnot. I don't know. Just something about that specific visual is stuck with me. Of, like, if I ever end up as, like, a uh, oh, somewhat overweight fellow. Someone really had a grudge against this old tomb. Why? It's all turned to sand. The sand's a bit odd, though. Hmm. Not something a fireball would do. Or a frost... Oh, what are they called? Not frostballs. Snowballs? No, that's not right, is it? Like if I ever end up as somewhat more overweight than where I'm at, I would try and get extraordinarily buff to go along with it, and then also have a sweet beard. Like that's that's an aesthetic that I I go for. I don't know. This <laughs> this is suddenly sounding kind of weird, but this is kind of like I don't know. I just I feel like if you're gonna be a portly guy, you gotta have a sweet beard to go with it. Otherwise, you just look baby faced. Maybe that's the point. Bonches is definitely supposed to look kind of a little bit more ba baby faced. I'm not supposed to be doing this, but you know what? If it works, it works. Except for I still need the block over here. I'm glad that they seem to have figured out how to give him puzzles that actually... Oh yeah, did we figure out how I could carry things? Eh. Um. Okay, charge forward with shift. But yeah, Pontius always had limited puzzle utility. Oh. Oh, it's back. Okay. There we go. I knew there had to be some way of getting to that. Oh. Eh. Close enough. Uh, but yeah, he was always just the combat guy. You know, you get attacked by a bunch of skeletons, you hit the, uh... Huh. You, you switch to Pontius or Zoya. That box up the tree. And... You know, you left the wizard out of combat because all he could do is summon box and like I guess there were some upgrades that made the box kind of useful in combat, but it still wasn't that great. Hmm. Empty. Good thing too. So I'm not disturbing any funerals. I it would never happen, uh, and probably won't happen. If Microsoft wanted to hire somebody to do a a fable game correctly. I feel like the Trine developers would ace it. Purely on an aesthetic and writing level. Maybe on gameplay, they definitely get the puzzles in. Uh, which, eh, not that Fable had any particularly major puzzles that I can remember. How can I do it? I can do a charge from one of these. Cool. That has some interesting potential. Oh, I see. Press the lever to open it up. But, like, I legitimately want to be able to explore this world three-dimensionally. Because they've done such a good job at, at making it look nice. Let's see, do we have anything interesting down here? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, being able to use that dash midair is huge. Hmm. Nothing's happening. Wrong herbs? Maybe I need bigger candles. Is backwards really backwards, or is it actually the right way, and I need to draw that backwards? Oh, come on, Gran, just pop your head up. Halt, evildoer. You're under arrest for crypt wrecking. Uh, what? 
Look here, my grand's grave is perfectly intact. For the time being. And it's not even a crypt. Oh, uh, I see. <laughs> Sorry about that. Have you seen anyone recently who turned stone into sand? No, there's nothing suspicious going on here at all. Good night, sir. Pirate Necromancer. Okay. A young I'm... man leaving flowers and candles for his nan. How nice. And some drawings too, eh? <laughs> All those circles and lines, it's a bit too modern for my taste. Oh, I can make that. Perfect. Well, so far I don't want to go down or go up there yet. I want my loot. I don't know. I I'm gonna be stuck on this of just like it uh wait. Oh. Jump in air and stomp down. Oh. Seriously, they really figured out how to give Punches uh some proper puzzles finally. That's legitimately kind of huge for me. Oops. Because now I actually feel like I'm going to have reason to play him apart from, oh, it's just time to throw down. Uh, and that was that was his biggest issue. Oh, I got it. He doesn't Let's have see much if I lateral. Can find our villain in these ruins. Oh, of course. Yeah, because we've got the butt stomp now, which which causes physics objects to move slightly. We've got the shield for blocking projectiles. We've got the dash for hitting switches and stuff far away. Handy. We've got uh we've got the stomp for platforming and other such things. Uh God, I swear I've There we go. I don't remember what heals him up, but I don't think we're going to be taking too much damage here. Oh, right. We've also got the shields for redirecting uh, stuff like water and whatnot. I don't remember this in the previous game. I, I saw a review for this saying that it more or less is just like a... a Oh, I see. This. Uh, Only the back of the graveyard to search through now. We can, oh, no. I guess I didn't need to. Well, we found the lad again. Oh, I did it! I summoned the skeleton! You're arrested for necromancering. Uh, how about no? Oh, this is so cool that they're coming from off screen. I don't know why there are a bunch of uh, weird rat skeletons with shovels. Yeah, I can even bounce enemies into the environment to do extra damage. Like, I legitimately am going to have to go back to uh, some of the previous Shrine games just to remind myself, like, how much it's changed. Because, yeah, half the time I just play as Zoya just because she had the extra mobility in combat. Uh... And punches didn't do that much more damage. Rat gun skeletons are way easier to summon than human. <sighs> uh oh. No, wait! I'm your master. Obey me. Oh, for duck's sake! Call back your skellies. I don't know how! I have no idea what I'm doing! The Clockwork Knights had recently replaced most of the ordinary humans 
as guardians of the kingdom. Sleepless, always reliable, and mechanically relentless, they had quickly become a permanent fixture across the lands. But Pontius was not sure he felt relieved or threatened when their forces swooped in to save him. Thank you, my fellow knights. Sir Pontius, Lady Sunshine Crownsdale invites you to a celebration of the Heroes of Trine. Location, Astral Academy. Time, noon tomorrow. Well, isn't that nice? Oh, I'll get to see Amadeus and Zoya again. Uh, did you know that... Uh, Amadeus the wizard was not living his best life at that time. He was spending his days at a calming spa retreat, but this was happening somewhat against his will. Things had taken a rather dark turn at home, and the wizard's wife had asked that he find some new lodgings for himself. Thankfully, for the mere fee of letting the spa owner use his name for advertising, Amadeus could stay there while he regrouped. I didn't know Amadeus was married. Also, I kind of wish they just stopped with the Amade Meanwhile, Amadeus was not living his best life. And just, like, nothing. The rest of the context is good and also charming. But it would have been funny if it's just, like, Amade Amadeus's life just kind of sucked. And stop. <laughs> They did such a good... Oh, gosh. That pizza. That rat. I'm it's so cute. You have a visitor waiting for you at reception. Oh, that must be Margaret. She's come back to her senses. Okay. Oh, this place is wonderful, but it's time I went back home. Ooh, I like that breath bar. That looks really nice. Goodbye, Buffet. Okay, pick up and levitate. Oh, levitation feels so good. I, I play this with keyboard and mouse. It's fine with controller. Don't get me wrong. Um, but boy, just the the speed and precision of mouse controls on this makes it like the only platformer where I actually prefer to use keyboard and mouse and that's such a rare thing oh this is fun can I do anything with that? no got a monkey there can I just climb up? yeah There's just monkeys hanging out here. Oh, look at that, like, hedge cat. I feel like I'm just going to be destroying everything. Okay. Highlight levitation objects with B or alt. I can take the potion to me. Nope. Physics disagrees, but that's okay. Nothing else over here. Vandalism. And they do, in fact, have potions for me. Now, almost... Yeah, there is stuff up there. Now, can I... Perfect. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. So we can just snag those. I think we're supposed to put the boxes up so that we, um, we, like, climb onto that tower. Maybe not. Look at those, look at those cranes. Look at this everything. Like, I, I'm going to maintain, uh, oh, right, rotate objects with this. 
Uh, I'm going to maintain that Frozen Bite will always rem remain probably one of the most, like, prolific developers that maybe no one, uh, maybe a lot of people haven't actually uh, tried their games. And that's kind of a shame. It's like, gosh, the just visual development here. What am I thinking of? I mean, the development as a studio, both visually and mechanically. Uh, from Trine 1, which was like, it was good at the time, but not like an amazing game. Uh, or, okay. It was good and frankly, possibly amazing at the time, but, uh, you know, maybe it doesn't hold up as much nowadays, but the amount of progression, conjure a box, uh, the amount of progression that they've had ever since has been nothing short of it astounding. Like, I actually thought Trine 3 was good, except for the fact that it ended too soon, and they probably ran into budget issues. Uh, like, I actually felt that the, uh, transition to 3D was pretty good. Uh, like, full 3D movement. I think there might have been something else up above here. Oh no, it's just a branch. Oops! My bad. Sorry, sorry. They did not like that. Eh. Boop. They still don't like that. There we go. Just here to get every bit of EXP I can. Eh. Whoop, whoop. Oh. And I mean every bit. I forgot you can you can just kind of have your box floating in air if you're really quick. You can just platform off of it. So I can hold it like here. And effectively do a double jump with box. It's not as practical as actually doing the puzzle properly, but I've definitely used it to cheese some things in the past. I'll get there quicker if I take a shortcut. The path over the mountain. Ah. And also conjure a plank. The hell kind of spa is this, and why would it need Amadeus the Wizard's uh, name for advertising? Like, I don't think this spa would ever need to advertise itself for any reason. The shortcut may be quicker, but it's also a bit more challenging. Not bad work, and you should see my six o'clock conjuration shows. Good grief! It was just some soap! And, like, they're introducing also a ton of these mechanics that just ev everyone gets to use. Like, I'm sure the ball rolling is just going to be for every character, but it was only just introduced now, which I realize is kind of neither here nor there, but uh, the sheer mechanical variety being presented by this right off the bat is just like, oh, oh, that's cool. Unfortunately, I do get the d distinct feeling it's not going to be able to use a lot of them simultaneously, but maybe that's fine. I hope that serpent's only here for the spa. Aha! We do have stuff down here. Oh, I think it's loose now. There we go. So I bet to make 
a de facto di oh I can only have one I think later on uh There we go. I don't know if that's actually how you're supposed to do it. Ah, oh, the front desk is up here. <sighs> Margaret. Where is she? You're not Margaret. Who or what are you? Amadeus the Wizard. Lady Sunshine Crownsdale invites you to a celebration of the Heroes of Trine. Location, Astral Academy. Time, noon tomorrow. A celebration for the heroes of Trine. This will definitely help me smooth things over with Margaret. Amadeus, Pontius, and Zoya soon met at the Astral Academy to attend the party arranged in their honor. They had a rare opportunity to reminisce about their first meeting, which had taken place here in the hallowed halls of arcane mysteries but something didn't feel quite right to them. If this was to be a celebration, where were all the other guests? Ah, returning to the Astral Academy always feels like a homecoming. That's right. And it's where we started all our adventures together, all the way back then. Yes. How will I ever forget being abducted by a sentient artifact of power? Hmm, I see there have been all sorts of exciting new developments here. I wonder what this thing does. Who can tell? But I appreciate how shiny it is. Let's go get our fabulous tokens of recognition from this Lady Sunny so I can go continue my project. You pocketed the hourglass, I think. I was too busy watching the wizard. Hey, I think we got some skill trees. Okay. So, uh... Or skill points? Okay, unconverted EXP. Convert EXP to upgrade points at Grand Checkpoint. Ah. So we have Levitation, Conjured Box, Conjured Plank, and can't... Uh, ah. Take hold of an enemy, levitate it a short while, causing them nuisance. Conjure two boxes, I think, or no, exploding box. And... The plank leaves a hailstorm. Needs to charge up both... Uh, a short bit before. So she's got multiple arrows at once. She can do a dodge roll and kick and wall jump. After dropping off a rope, kicks the enemy she lands on. Can also perform a wall jump, kicking the enemy she hits when landing from the jump. All enemies caught this way in the way of Zoya swinging from a rope will automatically get booted too. And hanging from a rope or a wall, use space to, click, uh, to jump and land on an enemy. So, light as a feather, Pontius leaps back in the air after stomping an enemy and lands on them again, heavy as a rock. Hop, with his sh hop on his shield to slide over water, lava, spikes, acid, and other hazardous surfaces. Don't try and electrify floors. Ooh. When the shield shatters, energy from the attack will transfer the sword. Uh, he can just do a glide. That's incredibly cool. Uh, yeah, not the deepest skill tree, and maybe we get a couple more entries as we Sawyer, go along. There's a hole in your clothes. You're usually in such pristine condition. 
I ran into something exciting on my way here. Okay. Let's see. Three for Pontius. There we go. Aha. And yeah, now that we have all of the characters, more or less the game is just kind of like, all right, figure it out yourself. I always appreciate that. Uh, let's see. One box. Now I'm pretty sure, yeah, he breaks off of those. I guess if we go back here, we still have this box. And then we have another box. And then we should be able to just climb both of them and get at the potions. Potions? EXP? Whatever they are. Oh, but you know what we do have? We also have this box here. Oops. Anything in? Yeah, just a little bit. Not too much. Gosh. You also know these people would make, like, an incredible Metroidvania. I think it's fine. What they do. This game very much has, like, a, a specific vibe. Uh, game? Game series? And I think some of it would be lost if they tried to make it a little bit more, like, open exploration. It was just a dragon statue. That is looking at us and breathing. It looks like it's made out of stone, though. And I should go back to their, uh, kind of wizard brawler game. Okay, cannot destroy that for any reason. Looks like we're gonna need damage. There we go. Maybe with the exploding box, I could do it. Dang. This is excessive for a party with nobody in it. Oh, now this looks like it. And no guests. Hmm. At least there's cake. Well, that didn't work. I destroyed that cake. Come on. Yeah, I should be able to get up onto this chain. Oh, interesting. Each of the characters has kind of a different balance to them. Effortless, wobbly and awkward, and uh, somewhat there. Okay. There we go. That's how I get to the top of those. Uh... No. I see. There we go. Now that rotates it. Yes! Oh, maybe rotates it a bit too much. Perfect. Just bring it back up over here. I think it could have been, like, a little higher. But honestly, not that big of a deal. Alright. Nothing on that. I wonder if you can bounce off of those. Ooh, what do we got down here? Treasure chest. Wilhelmina's lost her hat. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you can have a punch in a wizard hat. He, uh... He got short hair. Didn't know that. I don't think I've ever seen him without his helmet on. So he can tie a tire rope to Amadeus's objects. Okay. Oh, we're all wearing the hat. Okay, grand checkpoints convert collected EXP into skill points. Open the skill tree and spend skill points at any time. 
We actually have more than I thought. So what is that three that I keep seeing go by? I don't know. Yeah, the question is, what do I want to invest in? Okay, has their own skills and upgrades, switch between them. Okay, main hero skills become available as you progress. Upgrades to hero skills are bought with skill points. Skill upgrades can be purchased only after you've unlocked them in the game. You can open the skill tree at any time and get your skill points refunded if you wish to spend them on another upgrade instead. Oh, sick. Uh, let's see. So what is this one? Levitation Stomp. Stomp with levitated objects. This one's really good. I like his flight. Oh, but you know what? Let's grab shield sliding, sliding and levitation stomp. Heck yeah. Heroes of Trine, welcome. I am Lady Sunshine Crownsdale, the organizer of these festivities. Pleased to meet you, Lady Sunshine. Lady Sunny to my friends, which of course the three of you are. Shouldn't we wait for the guests before the ceremony? Of course. First of all, if you could please stand here in the center so we can start with a commemorative portrait. Sounds easy enough. Just let me get out of the way. What? This... this is no garden party. Now stand still. It'll all be over painlessly in but a matter of seconds. Why is it taking so long? Okay. Do we like shoot these? Aha. Knight, seize them. There we go. That sh Punches still remains. Lady Sunny, after her. Right you are. Okay. There we go. Punches remains the absolute hero of all combat situations. Also, big plus. Dude can just surf as long as he wants. And I love that. All right. Knock that down. I guess I might as well take that over, grab the XP, and go from there. Luckily, that thing has infinite water somehow. Oh. That should be good. Whoa! I was not expecting it to be uh, quite so effective. Okay, fine. everywhere. I mean, all to find. Is there? There's probably something on the other side of that. Let's go free this other bonus box. So I can actually use it for things. I don't know if I need to, though. Oh. No, I do. There's a good spot for it. God, this is... Okay, Amadeus can stick objects to spikes. Yeah, I know that much. I don't know. She actually did get it. Oh, ow. I was distracted. I'm trying to remember if there was like a double jump she could get or something. But no, I think Amadeus, or not Amadeus, Pontius. The Red Rose Inn Harvest Menu. Freshly baked white loaf and whipped butter. Pottage stew. Cabbage chowder. Rose pudding, sugared almonds. No refunds if dog hair found in food. 
the harvest menu from the Red Rose Inn. <laughs> Yum. Okay, I am but a goofus fool. So, shoot that and do that. I don't know why I was thinking I had to like get to the other side. Uh, I'll blame it on the fact that I'm only partially partially functional right now. I was hoping I could get one of those hedge balls. Um, what can I do with this? Okay, it does move. Kind of? Oh. It does, but not well. Hmm. Okay, so what can I do with this? Probably not much of anything. Let's just try a plank. Hmm. It can tie her rope to Amadeus's objects. And yeah, it feels like this should be able to go up. But that rock's in the way. Oh, oh, those are lives. Of course. Unless, of course, I spend all of them trying to get through. Um. There's no other platforms up above. Yeah, it didn't work. What happens if I do die? Latest checkpoint. Okay. Hardly a problem then. And it looks like all the collectibles are pre-collected. I probably don't need to do this again, but for the sake of... For the sake of doing it, I will. Okay. I'll try and figure out how to get to the other side. Unfortunately, I'm flagging here a little bit. I want to do... Oh, oh, oh. 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 Once again, I'm a fresh fool. Okay, so let's just put this here. Move it back a little bit. Grapple there. And then we've got this whole business that we can just run along. I always forget you can run on that rope. I don't know why I forget that. Oh. Lad's just got a crossbow hand. Doesn't help him too much. So these shiny metal men are upholding the law in the kingdom now. <clears throat> They'll all be thrown out once we get to the bottom of this. Okay, we've got that. Question is, can I just bash my way through that? The answer is yes. We can just kind of overuse a lot of Pontius's abilities if we want to. Here's the thing, though. Boop. Yeah. There we go. Uh, right. Just shoot this one down. Yeah, we're good. So, uh, while I was trying to figure out that one big potion, uh, I had a look-see at how long the game is. It's about seven hours if you know what you're doing. Probably more like eight or nine if you're a little bit slower like me. That seems like a very reasonable length for what these games are. Or maybe that's just a, a me thing. Okay, there we go. But, yeah, I've been eyeballing a bunch of other new releases Oops. Kind of wanted that. 
so I could roll on it, but whatever. Oh. Dang. That's effective, and there's another one. It might actually just be endless? Maybe not. Alright. How are we doing this? Get over here, switch to Pontius, blast, hyper bounce to another? Ah. Not as cool of a bounce as some of the some of the other ones. Let's actually do platform. Oh. We have some spikes, but we also do have this. The amount of secrets here are pretty impressive. Dear Mum and Dad, our class is going on a field trip. We are going on a magical journey up in the clouds with a Miss Silvervale and Mr. Giridoc. We travel to the airfield on the back of their amazing blue metal coach that operates by steam. It's not drawn by horses. I will write more soon. Yours, etc., Cornelius. Hmm. I never got to go on field trips as a student. No, you only got abducted by a magical candle stand which gave you magic powers. Okay. There we go. Yeah, she didn't have quite enough oomph. Oops. <laughs> uh, let's see. Back to him. Switch to this. There we go. We've got water. Uh, hmm. See anything else? Nope. I guess this is fine. There we go. I guess first we'll go for the EXP potions. There we go. We've got this here. Let me just do another one of these. Oh. oh, that does just slot right in. I was assuming that would slide right off, especially with the water being poured on it. Looks like I was wrong. All right, are we? Yeah. Oh, I can't believe they're replacing honest knights with those trinket machines. Still, taking these apart is much more fun than shooting at your friends, Pontius. Mistress Wilhelmina. Oh, we're so relieved to see you. You need to go to the Great Council and let them know that Lady Sunny Crownsdale is totally out of control. She might have harmed some of your fellow wizards. It... It's gone. It's missing. The Master Wizardess has now lost her marbles. What a coincidence. That's not a good sign. We've got some EXP. Okay, cool. I would love to keep going, but unfortunately, like I said, I am sick, and this is like, uh, just talking for an hour is like a serious test of my, my voice, and it's starting to hurt. Uh, so as much as I'd like to finish this level off and continue on and do a bunch of other stuff, now let's save up for a kite shield. I just want the dude to be able to surf and blast. Well, I thought I was blocking. I suppose I was not. There we go. But yeah, as much as I'd like to continue playing this game, uh, we're going to have to leave that for later. Oh, I got it. And I can just hang on top of these chains. Uh, but what an absolutely impressive game. Like, I, I was always under the assumption that 
Prime was kind of one of those series that would peak. So, they can fly as well. That would peak after a while just because... Okay, I think I'm supposed to wizard this one. Uh, box here. Grappling hook. There we go. Uh, but I legitimately thought this series he would peak with like Trine 2. And then it seems like after Trine 3, that was kind of the end of it. And then they just brought it back, what, a year or two ago? And like, it was really good. I remember enjoying Nightmare Pr Prince pretty thoroughly with Shell. Okay, uh, break that, move this here. Slightly stumped on how to get this over the way I want it to. Because what I need is for it to be all the way over. But I don't think there's a way that I can, like. Oh. Oh. Hold up. What if it's. What if I'm doing it wrong? What if we do this? Alright. Yes! I'm sure there's a better solution than this one. But I feel so freaking clever for putting that what to putting that one together regardless. Alright. Anyway, I was gonna do an outro. I'd love to keep playing this. It's so uh, so satisfying. So and like like I said, the environmental design and the visuals for this game is so wonderfully whimsical. Uh that I truly love just looking at every single screen for this game. Because there's so much going on and there's so little repetition. This is a living world that they've created. Well, maybe not a living world. A lived-in looking world that they've created. Uh, full of, like, very much storybook fantasy. Uh, but it's just a tease. It's all just background elements. And so it's just like, ah, I want to see more of it. And I want to interact with more of it. But I cannot. And I guess that's just kind of part of the charm. Uh, part of the fantasy, if you will. Uh, but either way, I think it's really cool and highly recommend it. I'm um, glad I got the chance to check this out. Uh, but before I go, I should mention that Trine 5 Clockwork Conspiracy is available on Steam and I think every platform. Um, and is, uh, is really good. Like if you've ever played any of the Trine games and enjoyed them, uh, I'd highly recommend picking this one up. And if you haven't, I'd probably say it's worth actually just picking up the whole series. I'm sure it's dirt cheap if you want to go back and play uh, Trine 1, 2, 3, and 4. Yeah, it looks like it's 75% off of all of their previous games. Um, I know a lot of people don't like Trine 3 because it was kind of this like full 3D environment that you could go, uh, you could like wander around, kind of almost Gauntlet Dark Legacy style, but with more verticality. And it was buggy. I actually really liked it. I thought it was really cool. Um, and honestly, frankly, uh, Trine 1 and 2 still hold up. They're great games. They just might not have aged as well, nor are they nearly as complex. Uh, but I think with all of that said, my voice is giving out. So if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I've got tons to check out and show off. With that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I can't break this pot. There we go.